1.80 Kelvin. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Zero Calvin. Today we're going to be creating a character from scratch. So normally when I create a character, you know, I tend to make pretty young white girls. But uh, I think today we're going to do something completely on the opposite side of the spectrum and make like an old black dude. Because, you know, who doesn't like old black dude? Old, old black dudes are like totally cool, right? Have you ever met an old black dude who wasn't cool? No. You haven't. You just haven't. So let's do one. Now, normally, um, I create my characters in a, this program here called Character Creator. And I know, you know, the big hype right now is MetaHuman. But uh, I still actually prefer Character Creator. I think MetaHuman is going to be great for creating characters for video games. But I still think Character Creator has a lot over it right now. With that said, the normal way I would create a character would be to, you know, spend hours playing around with uh, these various morphs that come here. So this would be the traditional way. Um, for instance, if I wanted to, you know, go in here and <clears throat> say make her like, you know, have big anime eyes, we could do that. Things like that, you know, um, move her eyes around, up and down etc etc but today we're gonna do character creation the lazy way by leveraging artificial intelligence so inside character creator there is this plugin called headshot so what headshot does is it allows you to drag and drop in a photo a headshot of somebody and it will automatically generate a 3d face from that photo that's not perfect by any means, but it's a good start. So that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. And to double down on our artificial intelligence theme today, the photo that we're gonna feed it is actually gonna be one that's been generated by artificial intelligence. So none of these faces here are actual real people. These are all, you know, conglomerates of various facial styles and, and and things that have been fed into an artificial intelligence system and uh, spit out. So for our purposes, these work really well because they're nice, evenly lit um, photographs. Uh, the downside to these is they're, they're very low resolution. So they're like 512 by 512. And I think even if you pay for the service, you only get 1K textures, which, you know, for usually you want about 4K uh, to get a good detailed uh, skin texture. So these wouldn't really work for the skin texture, but it's going to be great for our system to uh, get a face out of it, you know. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's start zeroing in on um, what we want. So we want a male, and we know we want a black dude. And age, there isn't old, but there's middle age. And for probably most of the people watching this video today, middle age is old for you. I'm going to hit apply. And it narrows it down to these guys. And truthfully, none of these guys are really look like a black person to me. But, you know, we're going to use it anyway. So I'm thinking this guy, we're going to pick him. I think he's going to be a good base for our character and we can, you know, modify him as we go. And you can see the, the computer also generates variations of the same dude. So if we kind of liked his general look, we can pick variations, which is pretty cool. So what we do is we just hit download here and you could pay a subscription of $20 a month if you were so inclined and you get 1K textures. We're just going to download the free for personal use uh, 512 guy. So let's do that. We get him and we just save him, which I've already done. Okay, so now with our picture saved, I'm just gonna drag and drop him right over here. Select mail, clean rough, generate. Now the computer's gonna automatically generate our character from the photograph. 
Okay, now after about an, two, a minute or two of processing, we get this guy. And you can see, you know, kind of looks like the guy from the photograph somewhat. Pretty close, you know, the head shape's not right. Um, you will notice some funny things here, like the, since he was wearing eyeglasses, the eyeglasses are actually part of his skin texture, which, you know, really isn't good for us, but it doesn't matter because we're going to completely re replace his uh, skin textures anyway. We just wanted to use this face to get the general facial features, which we've done. So that's cool. So now to continue here, we're going to just turn on subdivision for the model, and that's gonna get rid of some of the jaggy edges. It just makes some more geometry for us to work with. Great. Now let's give him some black skin. So we're gonna go over to Smart Gallery, uh, skin overall, and we're just gonna type in African. We got male African skin, we're gonna to apply to him. Let's give him the works. Excellent. Okay, so getting there, getting there. So now he's at least, you know, blacker. He's not quite old yet. Not quite what we want, but getting there. So let's make him older looking. So now I'm going to go over to uh, full skin. And I'm going to type in old. And let's do give him old man skin. And what this is, does is it loads in a skin gen preset. So SkinGen is a cool system that allows us to create um, very realistic skin effects by layering um, effects uh, the same way you would layer uh, pictures and photographs and effects in Photoshop. We can actually create layers of skin effects. <clears throat> okay, great. Now he's looking a little more, you know, wrinkly and everything, which is pretty good. His, uh, I have to say, his beard looks pretty crap. So, um, and there's better ways. That's just painted on. Really don't want to paint it on beard. We got a better way of doing that now. So we're going to take his beard and we're going to get rid of that bad boy right now. Goodbye, beard. But see what I mean about layers, skin layer. So all these effects, there's like, he's got his base map. Then he's got wrinkles applied, eye wrinkles, his body wrinkles. He's got like vascular system to make give him look like veins and things like that and all kinds of different body noise and textures to get this kind of like skin texture going on here, right? Even down to different types of pores and capillaries and things like that. So a little hard, we're only in 2K right now, but you'll see, you know, he's even got kind of veins looking. Very realistic. We'll bump this up to 4K in a minute. Um, so yeah, he's looking better. I think I actually want him a little darker. So while we're in the skin base here, I am going to darken him up a little bit. So I'm just going to go to the base color. I'm going to do negative 0.05 and it darkens him up. Now that's just his face, but we can click update and this is going to generate, uh, update all of his textures. There, now he's a little bit darker. That's better. Excellent. Um, next thing I'm going to do is delete his eyebrows because right now he's got eyebrows that are just textured on. So they have no, you know, they're, any, they're two dimensional. There's no three dimensions to them. They're just painted on. We don't really want that. Uh, weirdly enough, eyebrows are actually part of makeup in the skin gen system. So we're going to bounce on over here to the makeup section and we're going to delete the two different eyebrows. These are just two different layers that make up his eyebrows. Perfect. Okay, got rid of his eyebrows. Um, so I think that's really all we need to do while we're in the skin gen system here. So the last thing I'm going to do is tell it I want to go use 4K textures. And this is just going to bump up the resolution on our, our skin to make it look even that much more realistic. And we'll get out of the skin gen editor all together. Excellent. I think he's doing, he's looking pretty good, pretty sharp. I think he needs some facial hair though. It looks a little, yeah, he definitely needs some facial hair. So let's give him some facial hair and some eyebrows because he doesn't have any eyebrows right now. Makes him look a little weird. Kind of like a black Mr. Clean maybe. I don't know. 
So let's do that. So let's go back over to here and we're going to go to, let's say, hair. Um, get rid of that. Let's look for some good hair. I think these would be good eyebrows for him. Boom, there we go. See what I mean? So these eyebrows, these suckers have some some dimension to them, right? You can see them off the side. They look a lot more realistic than the painted on ones that were there before. So those are good. So now he's got some eyebrows. Now I think he needs, um, I think we need some a nice beard, nice scraggly beard. That looks good. And maybe a little mustache too. Just a, not much of a mustache, just see if I can find, I think that'll work. Yeah, there we go. Looking better. <clears throat> so that looks good. Uh, I think I want to just gray these up a little bit. So I'm going to go over to the materials adjust the base color and I'm just going to strip out all the saturation to kind of make these gray or grayer. Whoop. There we go. Much better. Look at that guy. He's looking good, huh? Looking pretty, pretty handsome. We did that in what, five, ten minutes, including me talking. So yeah, that looks good. So I think we're about done with them, actually. Uh, there's only a few things we have left to do, and then I'll send him in the iClone, and we'll see him, you know, animated a little bit. But yeah, don't you think that looks pretty nice? And this is real-time rendered. So let's do a couple things. Uh, there's one last thing I want to do here. Let's see. I got to go to character, uh, actually facial profile and we want to give him updated facial profiles which is going to let us animate the face a little more realistically later on and uh, I think we need some clothing for him because I think he's just chilling out in his boxers so let's give him some clothing I'm going to go to my pack and I got clothing lined up for him already so let's give him a shirt give him some pants Probably get rid of his boxers now. And he's got no shoes on, so we'll give him some shoes. Bam, now he's dressed for success. Um, I would probably give him some hair maybe, but I think he looks pretty good bald, and plus I truthfully don't have any hair products that would look correct on him. So we're gonna skip that. I think we're good to go. So there we go. Using the power of artificial intelligence, we've just created this killer looking, realistic, old black guy. Yep, nice, right? So let's send him over to iClone, which I already have running. And iClone is gonna let us animate him. Okay, there he is in iClone. And I'm going to apply uh, some idle motion to him that I created earlier. So this idle motion was actually created. Um, it wasn't motion captured or anything. It was just uh, using the puppeting tools that are available in iClone. So now we're going to press play and we'll see him kind of just chilling out. Pretty cool, right? So I think he turned out great, and this is just being uh, rendered live. You know, this is real time, just like the metahumans. I think he looks pretty awesome and not bad, considering it took us, you know, all of 15 minutes to do, including me rambling on. So, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. So I think we're going to end it here. Uh, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. If you like this kind of content, you know, let me know and I'll, if there's specific areas of this workflow or this thing you want to see in greater detail, let me know and I'll either steer you to a video that I've already made or I'll create one for you.
So with that, my friends, I'm going to let you go. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you for watching Zero Calvin. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. If you don't want to support the channel, then I'll see you in hell later, punk.